Mother. You can come in, Harry. Oh, uh, you won't care if it isn't a fancy wedding. Oh, Ruth, dear, don't you think you ought to be engaged a bit? No, I don't, Mother. Well, do you feel you know enough about him? All I want to know. It's a big step. No one's ever been hurt by waiting. I'm sure your father agrees with me. Well, there's a lot in what your mother says, as when isn't there. Oh, we've waited long enough now. We're going to get married. Well. Well, huh? Very cleverly put, my dear. Don't worry about me. It's what I want, and I'm going to be happy, and I know that'll make you happy, too. That does it. Get married. <laughs> <laughs> Did he make a scene at the bank? Oh, he was very cute. He was smoking a cigarette. Is that cute? He said he'd rather chew tobacco than lose me. He kept coughing. He's not used to cigarettes. Uh, this is uh, Albert you're talking about? Certainly, Albert. The one in civilian clothes, uh, not the one in uniform. Quiet, Harry. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Nothing. The two You'll of be you... here any minute now. I never cared for surprising people. Is it asking too much to give me a glimmer of what you're talking about? Just a glimmer? The lieutenant has come home, my dear, to roost. What lieutenant? The lieutenant. He has a two-day furlough. Glad to hear it. Roost Bill's home. He was here. We thought he's the one you were marrying. He went down to the bank just to look at you. We took it for granted you met him. Bill who? Bill Seacroft. Don't you even remember him? Mother Dora wants to know... Just a minute. Look, I haven't the faintest notion who or what you're talking about. Lieutenant William Seacroft. The one who calls you baby. Bill Seacroft! Just a moment, young lady. What did you just say? Dora wants to know if she should make biscuits. Sit down there. Yes, sir. Miriam, what have you done? I'll handle this, Edith. Miriam, what have you done? Come on, I want the whole story right from the beginning, every word of it. I didn't know he was coming back. Who was coming back? What is all this? He said he wouldn't fly anymore. I didn't see how he could come back. How did this whole thing start? From the beginning. It all started with our bundles for Britain. Go on. Well, we decided on bundles for our boys. You remember I was president. You're always president. Go on. We knitted things for our boys overseas. And we sent letters with our gifts to encourage them, to keep up their morale, to tell them America was behind them. Get to this lieutenant. They answered us. And they asked for pictures. You sent my picture to some lieutenant. That's it, isn't it? Oh, she sent more than your picture. You should have heard him. Yes, I sent him more than a picture. I sent him hope and faith and a will to go on. Miriam, do you realize what you did? Yes, I do. I've made a soldier out of a lonely, frightened youngster. Oh, he's a grown man. Not in spirit. I'm not talking about his spirit. The poor sucker's come home to see his sweetheart. He's entitled to something, and he's going to get it. Did he say that? What do you suppose a, a boy who has flown 25 missions, is nervous in a plane anyway, expects? He expects to see his girl. He had your picture propped up on the bombardier's panel. He's in love with you. Oh, you're exaggerating. There's a limit to how much you can do with a letter or letters. How many were there? Sixty. 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 Oh. <laughs>